lime mayo. So this little fellow is, uh, has done, uh, is doing well with the release. Uh, he's up and moving, his tail is up. Um, he's very uh, snippet, snippy on the carpet. And he's, he's moving. Um, sometimes I don't like to speak until they actually uh, come right out because I don't want my voice to uh, influence him. But you can see that he's not really coming out of the, the pen area. So his body language is quite nice. Um, he's t his tail is up and, and, you know, slightly wagging. There were a few cries there. He just didn't know what to do. So the fact that he's up and moving and out is really good. It shows a nice level of confidence, uh, able to handle some stress and uh, it took him a little while to come to me so he didn't run to me asking for help. So there's a little bit of an independent uh, side there. Hello. So I'm just going to tell him I'm uh, good and approachable and how are you? So he's giving me lots of uh, little licks here. So his body height is good but his tail is He's not like, you know, extremely happy at the moment. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you smell nice. You smell nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, the release is very good. Uh, this interaction, um, he, he's not making much of an attempt to leave. So uh, sometimes puppies are very uh, pegged, very social because they come like really happy to you and want to be with you and some puppies uh, they're showing a social side but they're they're maybe asking for some help because they don't know what to do this little fellow is really working hard at uh, pushing through stress which is a nice thing so he, the first time away from his litter mates and he was carried across a parking lot just dropped in here so he's never been here or met me before so um, it can be quite similar to what, how he might act when you take him home so hopefully this can be a good experience and uh, when you take him home it won't be so bad he'll have learned hi hi how are you Oh, a little bit of a yawn there and like he's very curious and he's starting to get a little more playful he might be looking for a place to relieve himself he's not sure what to do so now he's getting happier you can see the tail and the little trot mm -hmm. So I, I don't really need any more time on the interaction to, to peg him as a really nice 50-50. He's really nice and soft and interested and uh, good when he's with me, but he has enough confidence and curiosity to, to go away from me and look around the room. So we're going to get up and we'll see how he does on the next little thing. So the, this little part of the test is just... Uh, called checking in because I want to see if he uh, follows me around the room, uh, cares where I am, or needs to be encouraged. So some pu 
puppies follow me around and nip at my feet and try to control everything I'm doing. Um, this little fellow is very curious, which is uh, showing that environmental side. So in this exercise, he's showing more of an environmental side. Puppy come. Puppy come. Yes. So when in doing this exercise, we're going to try to teach him to stick by us and know where we are. And we are also starting to come, even though it's really small. Yay. So super big praises when he comes. So you can see with his environmental focus that if you just took him home and took him to a park or family thing, yes, very good, how overwhelming it would be, like too much stuff going on. And uh, so you want to be able to take him somewhere. This is much better. Yes. Yes, that little body shape. Puppy go. Yes, very, very good boy. So you want to do this in your in a small room with toys. So you can you can let him look at stuff. What's in here? Look what's inside. What's inside there? So you start with a small room, then make it bigger, different toys. Take it outside, maybe in your backyard, and do. Uh, that and before you take him somewhere overwhelming and really really busy you want to set him up for success you want him to re to understand that uh... <laughs> that uh, when you call him he should come it's a great exercise to uh, build that connection up you go very very good if you have trouble with you can reinforce it with a treat. He's quite happy with my, my padding. Um, so you can see that he is more environmentally focused than I have to encourage him. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Yes. So just build on this exercise. <laughs> you couldn't take him somewhere really, really busy and expect him to. Uh, you know, uh, respond to you unless you build that up first. Very good job. So it didn't take very long and reinforce, uh, like you can reinforce to come with treats and stuff. So after following me around and he doesn't know me, I'm just whisking him up in the air. So I want to see how patient and tolerant he is. He has a beautiful expression on his face. And his body is totally limp. So he didn't know why I was doing that. And we're going to just see if he's going to be mad at me or anything. But he's not. He's just gone right back to uh, the way he was before. So absolutely super level of patience. And, you know, that's a very important. He has vets and grooming and everything. So that's very, very good. So he did really, really well. on that. So let's see. Let's see what we do with <laughs> What's that? The little body shake is a way of very good. I'm just a tiny shy of the noise of the paper, but it uh, hasn't affected him, him as so much, and he hasn't run away to hide or anything. Hmm. Very good, puppy. Okay. Puppy, bring it. Oh, can you bring it? You didn't bring it, but you came back. Very good. So he's curious and, uh, you know, he 
he doesn't he doesn't know that he's supposed to bring it back. So that's a something. Come here. to go to the washroom. Hey. Hey. No? Uh-huh. I do think you do. So keep encouraging this type of play. At the beginning he was quite interactive. But it's a great way to um, spend time together and to build a bond. It's great exercise physically and mentally. try now. So we do a little treat test with these guys to see how they respond to something that is puppy. Puppy good. <coughs> Cut, look. Yes. Look. What's that? What's that down here? So he's only ever had like puppy food. Uh, this is a fairly good uh, quality treat. So we're just going to give him one to make sure he likes it. And then we're going to see how he reacts to it. So basically if he's overwhelmed and overstimulated with the treat, he's lost it. Um, he can't possibly do what you're asking him to do. So it's a bit of a counterproductive exercise. So can you imagine if you it was so excited and you're telling him to sit. So the goal is to find a, a treat that he recognizes and appreciates as a reward without sending him over the top. So he's just, <laughs> this is a different texture and a different flavor. So he's just taking his time and chewing it. But we want to make sure that he uh, he tries it, see if he likes it, and he'll fall over. Good. So now we're going to give him a little obstacle and see how he manages with his focus. Look, do you see that? Look here, look, on the ground. Look, 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 look at this. <laughs> he has to see it first. Look. So how uh, how good is that? I mean, he pushed over the cup, got the treat, and lay down and enjoyed it. So some puppies just knock that cup over, um, get so excited they play with the cup all over the room and forget that there's even a treat that they can't focus. So this little guy would do really well with treats, uh, probably. So now, you know, he likes your padding and your vocal praise, so now you can add treats. <laughs> I'm going to take this away. <laughs> So now we have to get you away from me. Yay! What's that? So that's a pretty 
loud noise from behind. He ran to me, but again, his body language is quite nice. His tail is wagging, but he did come to me. So if he was ever to be scared, he will probably come to you for support. There's a few cries. So the, um, the test actually, we expect that startle. It's how he recovers from the startle. So I'm going to try to give him a minute to see if he just, you know, recovers on his own or if I have to help him. So you can see that uh, he's not looking to me really for any kind of support. So he managed to, you know, push through that stress by himself, which is a lovely way. So that was a very, very good job. <laughs> Underneath the table. Was that good? So, you know, he's, uh, he's doing really, really well. He's, he's uh, very, you know, interactive and confident at the same time. So, quite nice. Can you see this? What's that? Oh, very good. Can you look up? So again, the confidence that's coming through, he's actually looking for a treat, I think. So on the treat, uh, like he's smelling the floor. So if he does get too excited, just go back to using your kibble. Puppy. Puppy come. He's getting more and more curious. <laughs> puppy, 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 yes, oh, he's so sweet in face, puppy, come, so he's not really interested in this, but he wasn't scared of it, so basically we just try to see what he's going to be like with, you know, different things. suggestion is to keep introducing different sounds and textures and colors, motion, um, just to, uh, <laughs> so, you know, he's doing really, really well, because he's shaking off the body, uh, the stress with his body shakes, and he's quite playful. Um, you can, he has a bit of an independent side, so work on those exercises that uh, give you connection. Um, it, you know, you don't need him stuck by your side at all times, but you want him to be connected to you. So this is a bit of a basic prey drive test. Now, you can see that he was being connected you know, right from the start. But the fact that he left it alone is, is, uh, see now he's playing with the balls. So he, he was connected, so he has a low to medium prey drive. Like it's not that, that strong, which is, uh, quite lucky for you. It's a good thing. Um, <laughs> are you going to come and see me? Come and see this one. Happy puppy. Very good. So uh, a really nice test. Uh, he's uh, very handsome. And uh, he's starting to use his teeth on me. So, you know, right from the get-go in your happy puppy training kit, there are no teeth on skin exercises. Um, he's, uh, he's interactive and he's a very happy guy. He can keep himself busy. Um, so build on the connection with him and, uh, and in, in play. Yes. So he's like, you know, lots of puppies would have just pounced on this and a big kill shake. So he's, uh, he's not interested, so that's good. In real life, uh, there's real squirrels and kids and bikes and stuff like that. So do your exercises to any way to get him to focus on you. Uh, the, the watch me, leave it, drop it, those kinds of things. I hope you enjoy. He's lovely.
Good test, little man. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs>